Artnik, an all things comedy production. Starring Joe Bartnick. Also starring Bill Burr and Club Soda Kenny. Tonight's episode, A Killing in Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Bartnick. Chicago. Chicago's a drinking town. And I'm a drinker. Now I live in LA. It's more of a rehab town. People in LA go to rehab for wine. Like I drink a bottle of wine a day. I'm like, yeah, so does my mom. <laughs> like, yeah, but I take pills. I'm like, yeah, so does my mom. <laughs> Drink up, cowgirl. <laughs> and I was talking to a dude. <laughs> Nothing sadder than a grown man drinking a glass of white wine. <laughs> it's like, how about some soy milk in a sippy cup? Be more masculine. I drink a lot. I drink so much I got the gout. <laughs> If you don't know what the gout is, it's basically a medieval drinking disease. It means you drink so much your foot hurts. There's no happy fun commercials for the gout either. It's not like HPV or herpes. There's nobody snowboarding or skydiving with the gout. They're all <laughs> dragging their dead legs through a casino. <laughs> Where's the $5 blackjack? Where's the $5 blackjack? I'm glad the bars are open again. Yeah. Yeah. That was a terrible year and a half for us alcoholics. <laughs> Remember Zoom happy hour? <laughs> That bullshit. <laughs> Open your bear, look at your buddy in the computer. <laughs> I like an old dirty bar with a good jukebox and Miller High Life. Yeah. <laughs> Champagne. <laughs> I like a bar before John Taffer rescues it. <laughs> Or as I say, fucks it up. <laughs> hey, John, I didn't come to Sal's saloon for a perfectly made mint julep. I came for the buy one, get three free special. He always, op always opens up the kitchen door like, look how nasty that grill is. Hey, John, I didn't come to Sal's for the cuisine. I came because Wendy behind the bar is probably going to show us her tits. You guys have a good pandemic? Some people didn't, you know. Fat people. Smokers. The elderly. <laughs> It's 
side chicks. <laughs> Not a lot of goo maws, but it inside the bubble. <laughs> it's hard to pretend you're going to the store at 2 a.m. What do you need at CVS? A blowjob? <laughs> I had a fun pandemic. Yeah, I got a new dog and a mustache and a heart attack. Yeah, yeah don't clap, I lived. Isn't that pain you get in the back of your leg in the middle of the night and you wake up, you're like, fuck! I basically got that in my chest. But it was right in the beginning of the pandemic, so I couldn't go to the hospital, so I basically just walked it off. I treated a heart attack like an ice cream headache. A week after my heart attack, I had to have a procedure done to save my life. And during that procedure, they had to shave my balls. They asked for volunteers. Flaming gay guy goes, me! I'm like, yes, that guy loves balls. He'll take care of mine. <laughs> but then, razor in hand, he looked me right in the eye and he goes, you remind me of my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> then I got scared. I'm like, this guy's gonna lop off my left nut because Bruce never took him to see Hamilton. getting older, my friends are getting older, that sucks. That's my buddy the other day, and he goes, I got my party pills. I'm like, he got Molly? He's like, no, Tums. <laughs> I'm like, cool, he's had some green chili, he some of that shit. I actually like heartburn, it makes me feel alive. Breathing fire like a dragon, ah! I'm at the age now where I pee in the middle of the night, thinking about wearing a diaper to bed just so I can sleep in. <laughs> But if I get used to it, start wearing it around town. I'm on the subway, people think I'm just chilling. I'm like. <laughs> Do the shake at the end. <laughs> like, he's taking a piss! Losing my memory a little bit, so I changed up my lifestyle. Like, now I wash my hair as soon as I get in the shower. <laughs> so I don't start jerking off and forget. Worse than that, you're like, fuck, I forgot to wash my hair. <laughs> Gotta get back in, turn the water on. The whole family knows he just jerked off. <laughs> you know when you get out of the shower and you still have shampoo in your hair, you were in the zone. <laughs> like Jordan in the garden. <laughs> um, I try, I'm, old, I'm trying to act young though. Like I use emojis. <laughs> Yeah, I used to think emojis for like kids, you know? I used to think texting was for kids. Then I'm like, wait, I don't have to call somebody? <laughs> and it's like, oh, emojis, you don't have to text somebody. This is great. <laughs> you know my favorite emoji is? Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, fuck you, we're done. <laughs> no more bubbles, fucker. I see bubbles, I'll call your ass. The emoji they need is the old man Italian wave. Yeah. They get the fuck out of here. My wife hates that. My grandfather had the best. He did the reverse old man Italian wave. The fuck out of here. I recently lost 70 pounds. Oh. Don't clap, I'm gonna gain it all back. I know what you're thinking, he still kind of looks like shit. I know, that's why I'm wearing a collared shirt. You got man titties, you gotta wear a collar. Yeah. Takes 15 right off the top. That's why golfers wear it, makes them almost look athletic. <laughs> like, I can't wear a wife beater. You can't wear a wife beater if you look like a wife beater. <laughs> you have a six pack, wear a wife beater. If you just drank a six pack, keep your sleeves on. 
Yeah, I know, young girl like yourself, you want abs. I get it. But the older ladies who've lost all their hopes and dreams, <laughs> they dig the dad bod. <laughs> yeah, ladies, this body says fun. <laughs> this body says everybody's getting appetizers. Nobody has to split a dessert with this body. <laughs> this body's built for comfort. This body sleeps in on Saturdays. Nobody has to get up and ride a bike with this body. <laughs> I hate people that ride bikes. <laughs> Not the guys that deliver food. Those guys, but hey. But the guys that dress up like Spider-Man, <laughs> take up half the road, think you're not gonna hit them? <laughs> those guys, fuck you. <laughs> I almost remember one of those guys last week, he goes, anybody lights flash in the back of his helmet? How am I supposed to see that? I'm looking at my phone. My wife wants me to keep the weight off. Fucking bitch. <laughs> she thinks I should go to bed hungry. I'm like, I'm an American. <laughs> My grandfather did not go to war for me to go to bed hungry. Doesn't keep anything to eat in the house. She keeps almonds. It's like, you must not be hungry if you're hungry to eat the almonds. Almonds are delicious. I don't know why you don't like almonds. Almonds aren't even food. You know how I know they're not food? Because my dog doesn't give a shit if I'm eating them. <laughs> Ruby's like eating almonds, going to bed, puss. I love the excitement dogs have when they think you have food they want. And they come running at you like, ah! And they find out it's like fruit or nuts. They're so disappointed, like, ugh. <laughs> it's like when you turn on Goodfellas, but it's on the Mexican channel. You're like, ah! <laughs> when you have what they want, they just zero in on you. Like, they're so concentrating. Like, they don't like, break concentration. They're like... Like the degenerate gamblers at the table, like I always have to do the dealer hand wipe, like go to your corners, ladies. My wife does nothing. Have you heard of it? It's called portion control. It's worse than communism. She has to eat little portions of food. I think that's the portion you would get in a restaurant. I'm like, not the restaurant where I know the owner and I'm fucking the chef. Cause that's the restaurant I'm in right now. <laughs> so how about some more lasagna? First time my wife made me lasagna had orange chunks in it. I know, I'm like, this fucking broad. Put American cheese in my lasagna. I gotta call my nonna and get an almond. She goes, no, you moron, that's squash. I'm like, gay racquetball? My wife uses chopsticks at home. Who are you impressing? <laughs> you don't do the taxes with an abacus. <laughs> so I got a daughter. She's really good at basketball. She's so good the black kids pass with the ball. <laughs> I mean, she's not ready for it, but at least we're thinking of her. Like, she can beat me sometimes one on one. She's like, Daddy, I know your weaknesses. I'm like, you know about rye whiskey and Thai hookers? <laughs> I 
Her last year of organized ball, she won the championship. And they got a big trophy like this big. I'm like, fuck yeah, you got a trophy. She's like, I got tons of trophies. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but this time you won something. <laughs> I'm like, that one's for seventh place. <laughs> We're not teaching our kids about the real world. If your resume is in seventh place, you're not getting the job. <laughs> Six people have to fail a drug test before you get that job. <laughs> My daughter's 17, when she was little, she was so cute. Everyone's like, wait till she becomes a teenager, you're gonna hate her. And now she's a big bitch and I kind of do. <laughs> her and my wife argue constantly, I never get involved. <laughs> but the other night, they were <laughs> screaming at each other and my daughter goes, I'm just gonna go upstairs and kill myself. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We just paid for braces. <laughs> You're in the beat for 11 grand. You're sticking around a while. When I goes to art school, she thinks she's artsy. She's like, Daddy, I'm going to make soap. I'm like, you don't even do the dishes. <laughs> she does ballet. It's fucking awful. The music's terrible. All the mothers hate me because I call the bar a pole. <laughs> I'm like, your dog looks great on the pole. <laughs> like, it's a bar, you asshole. Where I come from, we call it a pole. <laughs> you should make a lot of money in a couple years. <laughs> you should be happy. Forget about college, buy a pair of tits. Feeling good. So happy I lost the weight. Yeah, because now I can shop at Marshall's again. Yeah, because I can fit in double X clothing. There's nothing left at Marshall's of triple X. It's all green or purple or fuchsia. I can't wear those colors. I'm not black. Black guys look good bald. Imagine me bald. Black guys looking in dreadlocks. White guy has dreadlocks, you're like, fucking asshole. Black guy has it, you're like, that guy's cool. He's probably got weed. Black guys looking in bow ties, white guy has a bow tie, it's like, you're an accountant and a pedophile. Black guys even look good in glasses. And they're just wearing them for the irony. They're not gonna read. <laughs> Take it easy. I can handle the racism. I'm white. I'm not even really white, I'm Italian. We weren't white until the 40s. So Frank Sinatra and Joe DiMaggio. You have to be really good at something, then they let you be white. Like Obama, they let him be white. <laughs> Prince, Prince was white. OJ was white for a while, then he fucked it up. Smith is the whitest man alive. <laughs> he assaulted a black dude and they gave him an award. <laughs> Tiger Woods is white again. <laughs> I love Tiger, man. He's my favorite. Drunken whoremonger. I fucking love that guy. <laughs> I love Tiger so much, I used to listen to golf on the radio. <laughs> and people got so mad at him, like, how can he cheat on his wife? She's beautiful, she's gorgeous, she's an 11. <laughs> That's exactly why he cheated on her. Because she's beautiful and gorgeous. No, she just lays there in bed and doesn't move. <laughs> she doesn't have to. 
she's beautiful. <laughs> but Tiger's got a billion dollars. He wants someone to lick his ass. <laughs> like only someone who works in Applebee's can. The gym was shut for a year. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. I, hate, I hate all the fake happy people at the gym. Like, Stu, you're not going to live forever. <laughs> Chick at the front desk on way too many Red Bulls. What are your goals today? <laughs> I'm like, the fuck you later. <laughs> Think I'm here for my health? <laughs> you the treadmill for a half hour because I'm an ultra marathoner? I type in a half hour. It doesn't stop at a half hour. It keeps going. It's called the cool down. Total bullshit. Cool down is not more walking on the treadmill. It's the joint in the car on the ride home. Well, I used to love weed. No, now I can't handle it. It's too good. Yeah, when I was a kid, weed was brown. It had sticks and seeds in it. You're rolling a joint, you got high, you were lucky, you threw a Frisbee. <laughs> now it's purple, it's called Luke Skywalker's Nuts. <laughs> Smoke a joint, I gotta lay down for a week. I wake up, I can't remember any of my passwords. That's all I do all day, is keep updating passwords. <laughs> has to be a number, seven letters, well, it has to be capitalized. I've been through the whole Penguins roster four times. You have to prove you're not a computer. It's like, I can't remember the name of the street I grew up on. I'm pretty sure I'm not a computer. They ask you an emotional question. Like, what was the name of your favorite pet? I used to love Ruby. Now I have Rosie. I don't know. Or they put 10 photos, which one doesn't have a stop sign? I'm blind, I gotta call my kid in to help me. I'm blind. I went to LensCraft and he goes, you drove here? I actually failed the DMV eye exam. <laughs> Lady goes, you didn't get enough right. I go, what do you mean to do? She goes, I don't worry about it. We waited in line for three hours. We'll let you drive. <laughs> My buddy came out from New York City and he wanted to go to In-N-Out Burger. I'm like, I'll give you a ride. <laughs> and we're driving down the street and I go, hey, uh, what's that sign say? And he goes, you can't see that sign? I'm like, dude, if you knew what I couldn't see, you wouldn't be in this car. <laughs> You'd be taking an Uber, you cheap fuck. I uh, had an incident two Sundays ago. I drove through a street fair. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was shit going on, but I didn't think the street was closed. <laughs> the cops were cool. The real housewives of Sierra Madre, not so much. <laughs> it's like, relax, Donna. I didn't knock over your dream catcher stand. <laughs> So uh, I, got, I did get a new dog during the pandemic. Now I have two dogs. I just, I just love dogs. I mean, if I was a billionaire, I wouldn't shoot myself in the space. I'd buy every fucking pound. And it'd be all my dogs. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 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 I love dogs because uh, I'm narcissistic and I'm codependent. <laughs> so it's all about me. They just love me. <laughs> I don't have to ask anybody else about their day. It's all about me. <laughs> yeah, we love you. Yeah, it's great. People need pets. Everybody needs pets. Everybody should have pets. But they should have dogs, really. <laughs> like, I'm at the age now where some of my guy friends have cats. I'm like, I'm like is that your girlfriend's? 
Then they're like, no. And I'm like, ugh. You probably drink Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> Have a Coke and get a dog, motherfucker. <laughs> if that little kid gave Mean Joe Green a Pepsi, he would have tackled him. <laughs> See, people have birds. I don't know. Then they teach them to talk. I don't even want my wife to talk. <laughs> if I had a bird, though, I'd teach my bird my internet passwords. Hey, 2K and Sam, what's Yahoo? Malkin 71, exclamation point. <laughs> Some people have ferrets. What's that about? <laughs> Unless you're greasing them up and sticking them in your ass. <laughs> Why else would you bring a rodent into your home? Some people have guinea pigs, hamsters. One thing you never see, no one ever has a raccoon those things will fuck you up. <laughs> you ever look a raccoon in the eye? You get a chill down your spine. You're like, oh, I'm sorry. I must be in the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> so I have Rosie, the German Shepherd, and I also have my old dog, Ruby, the cutest mutt in the world. And she's like the shot caller of the house. Like, Rosie's afraid of her. <laughs> Rosie's 130 pounds. Ruby's 30 pounds. <laughs> She controls Rose, it's hilarious. She's the best dog, but uh, she was paralyzed three years ago. Uh, she's all better now, but it cost me $7,000 to get her fixed. <laughs> now she's the most expensive thing in my house. <laughs> I'd open the grab, but there's a fire. Like, Where's the kid? I don't know, get the dog. <laughs> The surgeon was nice, but I think you have to be when you're charging $7,000 to fix somebody's dog. When the alternative is a $25 donation in the dog's name. <laughs> I would never put my dog down. I love that dog. My wife would never let me. My wife would put me down before the dog. <laughs> She'd have an itchy trigger figure, too. <laughs> I better not even blink in the hospital. She'd be like, he's gone! Pull the cord! <laughs> I'm just taking her! So they're like, what would you do if your kid, if your kid, if your kid, what would you do? I'm like, if it was my kid, I'd say, toughen up, life isn't fair, you're getting a wheelchair. <laughs> you love Space Mountain, right? Well, now you're first every time. <laughs> you get the big bathroom now in a parking space when you're older. Just don't ever get on a bus, because everyone will hate you. <laughs> everyone hates the wheelchair guy on the bus. You're like, fuck, I was in a hurry. Even the driver's pissed, he has to get up and strap him in. It's like, what could go wrong? He's already in a wheelchair. <laughs> I love drugs. Yeah. Found a new one this year, Adderall. Fucking awesome. Makes me wish I had a stupid kid. <laughs> I offered something to my wife. She goes, you used to do cocaine like an adult. <laughs> Can't smoke anymore, but I love gummies. Yeah. Yeah. One gummy, drive my kid to school, talk to the teacher. <laughs> Four gummies, hang out with my mom all day long. <laughs> Incident free. <laughs> Who died again? Remind me. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Some people think CBD is a drug. I don't know. If you think CBD is a drug, then you think natural deodorant works. <laughs> Everybody has Facebook friends. I don't really know who they are, but they're your Facebook friend, right? Yeah. Someone was my Facebook friend, and they put on my page, if you love marijuana, you can't be my friend. I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> she lived in Atlanta, and she worked for Taco Bell. How can you be against marijuana and work at Taco Bell? <laughs> the whole reason you have a job is because of marijuana. <laughs> There's nobody sober going, I need a chalupa. 
I, I don't like Taco Bell. I haven't eaten one in 28 years. Yeah. I live in California. We have real Mexican food. I don't even like their commercials. Their commercials offend me. Yeah, the newest one has, is a beautiful, there's a beautiful home and like eight people dressed nicely sitting in the living room eating Taco Bell on the couch in the daylight. <laughs> Who are these fucking animals? <laughs> they have access to a kitchen. <laughs> you know you eat Taco Bell on the couch in the daytime? You eat Taco Bell in the dark in your car. I just, don't eat, I just don't like chain restaurants. How do they even start? Like, who was at the first Chili's? This food's awful. Let's make a thousand of them. <laughs> I'm sure Carl Sr. ran a great hamburger stand. <laughs> but then Junior had to go nationwide. <laughs> Fuck it all up. There is one restaurant I do enjoy. That's Waffle House. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of animals in the crowd. <laughs> I love it, it was awesome. Listen to this though. I just saw on the internet the other day, some guy ran naked through a Waffle House and shot a bunch of people. How fucked up do you have to be to be barefoot in a Waffle House? <laughs> You see somebody barefoot in a Waffle House, you get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Person has no will to live. <laughs> I love food. Food's the only drug I can't handle. It's a drug. It is. You ever try to eat one Dorito? <laughs> you can't eat the whole bag and you're licking orange dust off your fingers like a fucking crackhead. If there's a slice of pizza in my fridge, I can't sleep. I'll wake up at 5 a.m. like, my kid's not getting this. Fuck her. <laughs> you ever eat pizza so hot it burns your face, but you keep eating it anyway? Like, <gasps> <gasps> chicken parmesan, that's my heroin. I'll eat a whole tray until I nod off. That's my favorite type of day when you eat so much you can do is take a nap and a shit. I have a word for that, half English, half Spanish. It's called a siesta. <laughs> What'd you do today? Ate a burrito, took a siesta. Fuck yeah, man, that's a good day. <laughs> I love to eat, but I don't like buffets. No, I don't need a sneeze guard. Give me a waitress. <laughs> I was in Pennsylvania. This guy goes, the buffet's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing if you were on Naked Afraid. <laughs> it's like it's powdered eggs. <laughs> the only time powdered eggs are amazing is if they're served by, served by the Red Cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do like some buffets though, the expensive ones that have carving stations and omelet bars, you know? But I don't really like the chefs that man them though. Remember when chefs used to be cool? Be fat guy, smoked cigarettes, had checkered pants, they're like, like just jolly old fuckers. <laughs> now they're all skinny, they got arm tattoos, carry their knives around, do heroin, they all think they're Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> it's like you're not writing the great American novel, you're working at a Marriott. <laughs> they all make their own ketchups. Like, I don't want plums in my ketchup. I want a bottle of Heinz, not Hunts. Hunts is the Pepsi of ketchups. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was dating my wife about two months maybe, maybe less than that, and we were at a ketchup. We go, oh, go across the street and get some ketchup. And she came back with Hunts. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I go, we're going back. And we go back to my corner store. And this corner store guy, I mean, he sells porn to 12-year-olds and cigarettes to 10-year-olds. 
And even he was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll give you your money back. <laughs> Let's talk some politics. <laughs> Just kidding. You think I give a shit about politics? My life was so much better when I didn't know the name of any governor, <laughs> including my own. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I knew it wasn't Schwarzenegger anymore. <laughs> yeah, I voted for Terminator twice. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you know when you're 15, who do you want to be in charge? Terminator. <laughs> he was twice. I'm voting for The Rock for president. Yeah, he's like Obama on roids. Put the people's elbow down on China. Hey, Putin, you smell what The Rock is cooking? The only political thing I am is I'm pro-environment. Yeah. No, I mean, I used to not be, but then I got a kid. Yeah, I mean, I used to treat the earth like a rent-a-car. But now I'm like, let's keep it around a while. <laughs> Some people aren't though. They're like, they're not, they think we're gonna live on Mars one day. Like when they live on Mars? I'm like, what? Maybe the Kennedys, the Kardashians, not the 180 people in here on a Monday. <laughs> There's not gonna be a spirit flight to Mars. <laughs> I love spirit. People don't like spirit, I love it, yeah. Tickets are cheaper than UFC. Just as many fights. <laughs> and they don't really have stewardesses, which is great. I don't know if you like stewardesses. They just bother you. They used to be cool. They used to be air flirts, like coffee, tea, or me. <laughs> now like air marshals, like worrying about your safety. Like, just don't hit me with the cart, Bertha. All they do is give you garbage. You have to hand them back in five minutes. <laughs> Who needs this much ginger ale? <laughs> Face it, they're basically just terrible waitresses. They're waitresses that can't get a job on land. <laughs> That's why they have to fly to Cleveland three times a week to pay their rent. <laughs> They want to do it with straws. I don't care, I'm a man. I haven't used a straw in 45 years. Unless I'm doing blow. But all we're all built for Mother Earth. But bring back paper towels, fuck the trees. I think I'm washing my hands in the men's room because I have to. Because there's somebody else in there. My dick is the cleanest thing in the men's room. And you have to hit the syphilis machine to dry them off. <laughs> you mean any germs are in the men's room? Let's blow them all around a while. <laughs> Bring back real paper towels too, not those one-third fuckers. What's that for? Oh, I knocked over my visine. <laughs> I just don't like environmentally friendly bathrooms. Yeah, the sinks never work, you're always like... <laughs> The lights are motion censored, so if you stop moving, they go out. You're taking this shit, it turns into a horror movie. <laughs> what can I touch to get out of here? <laughs> they want to do away with plastic bags. Then what are the homeless going to use for condoms? <laughs> oh, you want more homeless people? sick of having to pretend to care about homeless people. <laughs> They're not cool. If they were cool, they'd have a place to stay. <laughs> They're not homeless. They're friendless. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are in a good mood. Yeah, America is starting to get happy again, which is nice. Because before the pandemic, people were just sad for no reason. Like they were worrying about shit that had no effect on their life, so they pretended to care. So they didn't look at assholes. They're like, oh, I better put a sad emoji on Facebook or gonna people think I'm an asshole. 
So then, like, God was like, oh, you're, I'll give you something to fucking cry about. <laughs> I'll shut the world down for two years. You want to cry about this bullshit? <laughs> Remember, pre-pandemic, people like, Houston's underwater. Good. <laughs> Ever been to Houston? <laughs> place is so humid, your balls stick to the side of your leg? That place needs a bidet. <laughs> Puerto Rico doesn't have any power. Did they have power before the storm? (laughs) I don't think they did. (laughs) If they did, that means they probably had cable. That means they have the weather channel. (laughs) That means they have four days to see the storm coming. It's a hurricane, it's not an earthquake. Get a poncho, Pedro. (laughs) Everyone used to be upset about school shootings. That's one thing the pandemic did away with school shootings. (laughs) You can't shoot up a Zoom school. (laughs) As soon as one square goes out, like, lock the door, Johnny. I went to Catholic school. When I was in algebra class, I wanted someone to come in there and shoot up that fucking school. (laughs) And hit that penguin bitch first, she got it coming. (laughs) I'm glad nuns are going extinct. There's just other jobs for angry lesbians to do. (laughs) They can work at UPS, they can drive a tow truck. They can work at Arby's because they got the meats. <laughs> Me and my wife are getting along better. <laughs> a little bit. Well, I used to have a thing called sleep apathy. Yeah, it's where you snore, but you're asleep, so you don't give a fuck. <laughs> How is this my problem? Thank, I mean, I'm too broke to get divorced. Only rich people get divorced. Yeah, poor people just stay together and hate each other. What's my wife gonna do, take half my ACDC CDs? Can't believe the judge gave her a highway to hell. I'm too broke to kill my wife too. And get away with it. Not like in an OJ way where everybody knows, but in a way when only your mother-in-law really kinda knows. Yeah, it used to be if you're rich, you go on a cruise, you get to international waters, you throw her overboard. But then some lady swam back and caught the boat. <laughs> Imagine looking at that guy's face. He's at the buffet having some crab legs. Look at that. She comes walking in soaking wet. He has to play it off. Like, ah, that was hilarious. I knew you were coming back. Oh, check. Oh, I forgot to hit record. Oh. Oh, you're fun. I'll buy you a new one. Just have some. <laughs> no, now if you're rich, you go to a third world country. You go hiking. You find a high ledge and you push her off. Yeah, there's no CSI Honduras. <laughs> there's just one corrupt detective. He's not looking for a killer. He's looking for an envelope. <laughs> Accidente, senor? <laughs> See. <laughs> a lot of nice couples in the crowd. Let me tell you this. If you're in a relationship and you're arguing and you don't have any kids, get the fuck out now. <laughs> it is never getting any better. What are you arguing about? What's on TV? Me and my wife were together for 10 years before we had a kid. We only argued five times. Four of them were all on the same canoeing trip. (laughs) Apparently I was too fat to sit in the front (laughs) and too lazy to sit in the back. (laughs) You nice couples, if you don't want to have any kids tonight, here's my big tip for the evening. Do not use the pull out method of birth control. Apparently, some sperm is more potent than others. 
mine <laughs> crawled off her back. <laughs> it's the truth. It's called the love drop. I feel like you eat a hot dog and then you squeeze the mustard. And the first thing that comes out ain't mustard. Well, now I call that Isabella. <laughs> Chicago, I fucking love you. guys are a great sports town. Yeah, you can find it. I'm a, yeah, the Bears, old school. I'm a, I'm a Steeler fan. But I'm an, yeah, but I'm an old school Steeler fan. Like I go back to Franco and Lambert. Now I, there's all these bandwagon fans and they think they're big fans. Like, I met a guy in San Diego. He goes, I'm the biggest Steeler fan in the world. It's like, if you don't wipe ice off your car, you're not the biggest Steeler fan in the world. <laughs> if your uncle hasn't been unemployed for 30 years, <laughs> you're not the biggest Steeler fan in the world. <laughs> I like old school NFL, though. Nowadays, it's too much about player safety. It's like, hey, if you want to live till you're 70, drive a bus. That's why I love the NHL, because they don't really care about player safety. It's like, skate with your head up, asshole. <laughs> I love college basketball, but in the winter, it gets very confusing. ESPN, you start putting the women's scores on the ticker in pink. So you begin half asleep on the couch, I wake up, Duke lost by 35? <laughs> oh, that's women's basketball. <laughs> I guess I need a bigger TV so I can see the asterisk where it says it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> they should put women's basketball on Facebook. Because it's just for their friends and family anyway. I do like some women's sports. I like women's volleyball. Yeah, take it to the beach, ladies. Who knew the Lithuanian volleyball team was so hot? Who knew there were beaches in Lithuania? Who knows where Lithuania is? I like women's tennis. Yeah, those commie broads in their tight panties. I love Serena Williams. Yeah, look at that ass all day long. I'll watch Serena hit balls off a wall all day. I don't really like women's MMA, though. I'd rather watch two sevens fight in the parking lot. Like, what's your favorite move? A hair pull. Like, you think Ronda Rossi's hot? Yeah, she's hot for a chick that can kick my ass. She's not, like, stripper hot. Like, if she came up and asked you for a lap dance, you'd be like, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Let's see who else is in the champagne room, Rhonda. I do karate. I do. In case I ever host an award show. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like... Five swords, motherfucker. <laughs> I do karate because it's all young dudes, and they always like, I'm the oldest dude by like 20 years, but it's fun to hang out with younger people because all my older friends just kind of suck. <laughs> they don't do anything anymore, and they kind of get on me. They're like, what's your retirement plan? Like, my retirement plan is to die. <laughs> and a couple baseball cards. <laughs> a couple mint Rod Carew is going to pay the mortgage. <laughs> Like, I'm old enough to be in the Viagra commercial. But I've never used Viagra. Never had to. Man, I get the same steel I used to get back in seventh grade. When I was breaking desks. Feels like a rocket ship taking off in your pants. You hear the MTV music. No, now my erections are more like a helicopter taking off with the sad mash music. <laughs> Greg 
grab a towel, radar, grab a towel. <laughs> yeah, I still do drugs, though. <laughs> Gotta be smart, though. Like, now when you do coke, you have to watch, like, nine people do it. <laughs> then wait, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, it's cool. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be smart doing drugs. Sometimes you're not, sometimes I'm not. Like right before the pandemic, I was doing cocaine with my gym card, because I'm a baller. <laughs> I went to the gym the next day and the card still had cocaine on it. Gave it to the chick at the front desk, she's like, oh! so I grabbed it back and I licked it. <laughs> and I went up on the treadmill and I was Usain Bolt for about nine seconds. <laughs> and I fell back and hit my head. And I woke up and there was like five people standing around and the chick from the front desk goes, that's the guy with the cocaine that wants to fuck me. <laughs> I kid around about drinking and drugs and rehab, um, you know, but if you need to go, go. I mean, I'll never go to rehab because uh, I have a swimming pool. But if you need to go, please go. I mean it, because I've personally put four different people in rehab. I was the last person four different women hung out with before they got sober. <laughs> I'm four chicks rock bottoms. <laughs> people say, well, what about your wife? Okay, I'm five chicks rock bottoms. <laughs> eh. You guys are cool. <laughs> Who's your favorite porn star? Lexi Bell. Oh, nice. You know who mine is? Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah, he put porn on your phone. <laughs> you know how important that is? I travel every weekend. I can't be bringing DVDs through TSA. <laughs> Try to download porn on your computer, gets computer aids and dies. You're in some small town, you can't even jerk off to the newscasters. <laughs> There's a reason why Sally's in the small market. It's that lazy eye. <laughs> Used to be there was one salvation. B-E-T uncut. <laughs> Uncensored rap videos. Nelly Tip Drill was the best. I needed a Tip Drill. I used to have them on VHS when I came home. It was the best. It was from midnight to three. But it ended exactly at three. No commercial break. Yeah, it went from twerking to the reverend. <laughs> Juicy ass Jesus! You don't know despair until you play beat the clock while you beat your cock in Kalamazoo. <laughs> A lot of gays nowadays, huh? <laughs> LGBTQXYZ, it's like an eye chart I can't read. <laughs> they let fat people be gay now. Remember before you had to at least be in shape to take a dick in the ass? <laughs> no, everybody's under the rainbow. I met a chick the other day, she said it was binary. I'm like, what's that mean? She goes, I mean, I could do dudes or chicks. I'm like, you should have just said you were cool. <laughs> no, you gotta be pro-gay though. Yeah, if not, you're just ignorant. Who cares where somebody puts their dick or their tongue or their dildo? <laughs> Unless it's in you and you don't want it to be. I mean, I could never be gay. I have hemorrhoids and sharp teeth. <laughs> and look at the way I dress everybody. I offer nothing to the gay community. The gays don't shop at Marshalls. Well, the lesbians do. Can't beat two flannels for $7. 
Gay rights help out everybody, though, even straight guys like me. Last week I was in New York, I did the bathroom really bad, and the men's room was packed. So I went in the ladies' room. When I came out, all these women were pissed. I'm like, hey, I'm transitioning. <laughs> From a guy that had to take a dump. <laughs> to now a guy who doesn't have to take a dump. <laughs> Where's the parade? <laughs> you guys are cool. Some towns aren't there, they get upset. They're like, Bert and Ernie are gay. I'm like, Bert and Ernie are puppets. And like, Tom Cruise is gay. I'm like, Tom Cruise, the Scientologist. That is so much worse. <laughs> and they got mad when they found out John Travolta was gay. Yeah, his masseuse ratted him out. His masseuse wouldn't jerk him off, so he got fired. How stupid is that? He's rubbing him all over her anyway. What's the difference? Nothing to lose your job over. <laughs> yeah, I'd do it. Yeah, that's Vinnie Barbarino. That's Vincent Vega. That's Chili Palmieri. How bad could it be? What's it like to work with Tarantino? Yeah. Hurry up, okay, go, Grease Lightning, go, Grease Lightning. Great. Thanks for coming to this comedy show. If you've been to one comedy show, you've been to 100, right? You hear the same things, right? Married guys don't get enough blowjobs. <laughs> Fact of the matter is, married guys don't get enough quality blowjobs. <laughs> My wife sucks a dick like she's forced to give a homeless man CPR. <laughs> I want her sucking a dick like a mom trying to save a melting ice cream cone. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm Joe Bartnick. Thank you so much for coming. On. Next time on Bartnick. So, where are you from? California. Where are you really from? Pittsburgh. Why is that so fucking hard? Bartnick, this doesn't taste like champagne. Does to me. I don't do happy endings. Oh, how about a grand opening? Ah, bam. Are you? Oh, that's Vardnik. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs>